If you're new to minimalist living, you may be wondering if it's worth it to declutter your belongings and simplify all that you have. Is it just a trend sparked by the Marie Kondo craze or is it here to stay? I've done my best to minimize my consumption for the past seven years and have received requests to share more about my experience, specifically about the benefits of being a minimalist. While I can personally appreciate a simpler life, I recognize that my level of minimalism may not work for everyone and that it's different for each individual. However, I do believe we can all learn to simplify something in our lives, especially in a society that tells us to do more, buy more, and be more. I hope this video encourages you to simplify and focus on what's important, whether you're new to minimalism or on a journey to live more consciously. The first benefit I've experienced is save time and money. When we go deep within ourselves and ask the tough questions, we may realize that more stuff doesn't equate to happiness. I used to spend lots of time looking online for new clothing or products to purchase, and it took a lot of energy to find that next best thing. But when I took a step back, it didn't take long to admit that I have everything I need. Doing so is a mental muscle I need to continue to exercise, but I do my best to consciously think through purchases instead of buying things on impulse and pure emotion. When I do buy something, I do my best to purchase products secondhand, or if I buy new, I try to look for products that are higher quality or sustainably made. While they do cost more than cheaply mass manufactured goods, I would say that I am saving quite a bit compared to my previous spending habits. If I weren't a minimalist today, I can only imagine how much stuff I would have accumulated over the years, going through endless cycles of shopping. I'm relieved that I've come to a healthy place in my life where shopping for new things isn't a regular pastime and that I shop only when there's a reason to. Second, living a minimalist lifestyle also comes with environmental benefits. Refusing unnecessary purchases is always the number one tip I share with anyone that's new to simple or sustainable living. When we use less and simplify our current belongings, our overall footprint also decreases as we depend on fewer resources from our already strained planet. In addition, I've noticed how it directly correlates with low waste living as fewer items brought into the home decreases the amount of potential waste that could be generated. It's oftentimes the things that we impulsively purchase that sit in the corner of our homes, collect dust, and are thrown away after not being used. If you are new to the minimalist lifestyle and want to be more conscious about your waste and overall impact on the planet, I would encourage you to also be cognizant of how you declutter as well. Decluttering sessions often end in plastic bags full of junk which are sent to dumpsters or donation centers. Instead, consider taking some extra time and thought to see if you can gift, sell, or donate your unneeded items to individuals that could actually use them, as your trash could be someone else's treasure. I have a few decluttering videos on my channel which show how I've recently decluttered a few things in my home in the case you aren't sure where to start. Third, minimalist living makes it easy to stay clean and organized. Minimalism can be quite practical, especially if you appreciate a clean and tidy home. 
owning less stuff makes it easier to find things and makes the home easier to manage. Clutter will inevitably show up in the home, but it can usually be tidied up in no more than 30 minutes if you have a smaller space and fewer things. Not only does this bring peace to your physical space, but it often has mental benefits, as a clean space helps you to focus and clear your mind. Last, the fourth benefit is one of the largest shifts I've seen in my personal life, which is mental well-being. Applying minimalism to not only consumption, but also other areas of my life has helped me to reconsider what's truly necessary. Eliminating excess stuff, responsibilities, or activities has lifted a huge weight off my shoulders and helps me feel lighter mentally. As someone that's struggled with anxiety and loves to pile many things on her plate, striving for a simple life has helped me to lower my stress levels and slow down to a pace and quality of life that I can personally handle. I admit that my life isn't the perfect, slow, and simple life that you may think I have based on my videos, as I often do keep myself busy with my small business and other activities. But I'm glad I'm much better at focusing on the things that bring deeper satisfaction in my life rather than chasing trends, products, and other things. Again, my minimalist lifestyle will be different from yours, but remember that we can all go a bit easier on ourselves these days. Be encouraged to simplify if you're feeling overwhelmed and focus on just those few things at a time. If you're on a minimalist journey, I hope you can experience a few of these benefits as well or more. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you've appreciated since starting a minimalist lifestyle, or if you have any questions, drop them down there as well. I appreciate you all being here and thanks for watching as always. And of course, have a wonderful rest of your day.